Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you, I have a, so every year our family is really big and I, we always have a lot of gifts to buy for, or a lot of people to buy gifts for, or a lot of just gifts in general. Um, and then between like dirty Santas and like secret Santas and all that stuff, we just have a lot going on. So usually what I do is I write in a notebook, um, I make like a grid just with a pen in a notebook and have little check boxes so that I can write who is for, what the gift is, and then check off, I've bought the gift, I've wrapped the gift, I've gifted the gift. So I keep everything straight. I don't lose any gifts. I've lost gifts before. It's not good. <laughs> so, or I forgot I bought something or I forgot I didn't buy something or, you know. So what I did is this year I went ahead and I just made it as a printable PDF, a nice chart and I I did it for myself but I also thought it'd be really great to share with you guys because I figured that's something that everybody can use when it's already a crazy time of the year you've already got gifts to buy for you're already stressed out so this will just help keep everything organized a little bit it's also um it's set to print as an eight and a half by eleven which is just the regular letter sheet which is perfect because what you could do especially if you have if you are budgeting really tight like Dave Ramsey or whatever and doing the envelope system. Um, you can also print that, fill it all out. It's got a place for your budget to write down for each person, like what you expect to spend on this gift or what you don't want to go over on this gift. And then a, sp a space that you can go in and write what you did spend so that if you can need to adjust it or whatever at the end, you'll know what was actually spent and all that. So, um, but it'll be really great having it the eight and a half by 11 because once you fill out your sheet, you can try fold it, um, down to fit in a legal envelope size and then store it in there with all your cash or gift cards or whatever, however you spend, however you spend your money for gifts <laughs> at Christmas. So, um, I will flip the camera around and I'll show you and then I'll go over a little bit and just do some fake to show you how I mean without giving away who I'm buying gifts for and what I'm buying them because just in case they're watching we don't need to tell them what they're getting for Christmas so anyways I'm gonna flip you around or flip you down so that you can watch so hold on okay I am back and so this is the sheet this is what I and I usually just do it in a notebook this is just gonna be a little more organized and then I can fold it up and keep it in my purse or whatever so what I do is it's got a, oh, sorry, my pen's not working. Um, it's got a place to write the person, the gift, the store. So then if you have five people that have gifts at Walmart, you can go in one trip instead of going every single time. Sorry, my daughter's wanting in the room. Hold on. Okay, back. Sorry. Um, my daughter's just a little overly attached right now. And the door was closed, so she was kind of freaking out. Anyway, so you have your person, your gift, your store, and then I have bought, so you can mark off if it's been purchased, wrapped, you can mark that off, gifted, and then budget and paid. And you don't, if you're not budgeting, you don't have to do that. I mean, and if you're setting a budget but you don't need to know how much it costs in the end, that's fine too. Whatever. This, do with it what you will. <laughs> um, on mine as well, sometimes I'll do a lot of handmade gifts. So I'll also do another column for made. Um, and then I can check off if it's been made, like the supplies have been bought, it's been made, it's been wrapped, it's been gifted, it's been whatever. So we'll go in, we'll say, Sally, and these are not real, these are fake. And I'm gonna buy a doll at Walmart. Um, and then I don't want to spend more than $30. So you can go through and just write, um, Dan, he needs a wallet, um, Amazon, or, and maybe you say wallet and gift card. Who knows? Um, just whatever. And then you can do, okay, I bought this and I wrapped it. It's not been gifted. We're doing it on the 25th. So you could even go in and write on the 25th or, and then you also keep track of when you need them bought by. So like we have Dirty Santa 
Um, and then if we have a lot of Dirty Santa, so I'll do Dirty Santa and then in parentheses write um, like Sally. I already used Sally. It's fine. Um, you can write um, Starbucks gift card. And then obviously Starbucks. But then also if you do a Starbucks gift card, you could also do like a star. So you know, a lot of places sell Starbucks gift cards. If you go to Walmart, you can get a Starbucks gift card. If you go on Amazon, you can more than likely, depending on how, the amount you want, you can probably get a Starbucks gift card. Um, but I need that on the 8th because that's when the party is. And we're going to go visit family, but we need to go on the 15th. So then you can write the 15th. So even if it's not been bought, like once it's, like you'll do this, once it gets to the 8th and you've gifted it, then you're good. But you still have more to gift, so you'll, I don't know. It just works for me. I thought it could work for somebody else. So if you're interested in this, I will post a link below that you can go in, especially, um, since Black Friday is this weekend, this would work really great for making out a list on what you want purchased for Black Friday. You can, even if you don't know the person, if you know the gift, you can, like, this is a great, I need a new TV, I need a new VCR, not VCR, obviously, DVD player, whatever. <laughs> um, or, and gifts and whatever. Then you can write down the what you need to buy, where you need to buy it, and then you can go off and mark as you go. So if you would like a copy of this, um, it's a free PDF. It's, um, there's a link below. You don't have to sign up for anything. You don't have to do anything. It is literally, you click it and download it and that's it. It's from, um, it's loaded up on, um, Dropbox. So it's just easy to get to and all that and it's a direct link just to this PDF and then um, you just download it and you can print it as many times as you want so if you need a bunch if you need more spaces than this or if you needed to write like like my husband's Phil um, and you say a DVD a book and you need like a bunch of things for him you don't have to write his name you could just say like Phil is all of these things and then or you could like do the whole thing Anyways, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyways, if you would like one of these, um, link is below. And then if you like this video, if you want more things like this, please hit like or leave a comment. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer or to help you out or anything. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and if you liked this video or if you like my scrapbook videos, anything like that, um, please hit subscribe and then you can always get more videos. So thank you guys for watching and y'all have a good day. Bye.